Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today is an exciting day because we are at the top of Hyrule Castle's main mountain and we're gonna go into the castle itself and hopefully be able to defeat the final boss, Ganondorf. We've gone through a long journey of completing every shrine, memory, and side quest in the game and we've thoroughly explored the castle. I'm sure there's still more to explore with how diverse this thing is, but I think that we're finally just set up and ready to go into this place, defeat Ganon, and see the end of the game. It's been a long time coming, and here we are at the Sanctum. Oh, now I'm nervous. Whoa. It's like a heart. Link. 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 I'm sorry, but my power isn't strong enough. I can't hold it. Oh no. It's destroying the place. Whoa. Uh-oh, whoa, whoa, where are we going? We're falling. He is huge. Whoa, whoa, he's creepy. I don't like it. This is spooky. Jeez, the sword is huge. Oh, hello. That is one ugly mug. Scourge of Hyrule Castle, Calamity Ganon. Oh no, we're in for it now. This is ridiculous. This is so cool. Now my moment has finally come. Brace yourself, Ganon, for the sting of my revenge. Oh, <laughs> get it, Ravali! This will be our final opportunity. We will not fail. They're all so cool. I love it so much. Let's go, little guy. Now, open up wide, get it! A hundred years in the making. Hold on, please. Our moment has arrived. Wow. That's gonna make it more tough for him. How's that feel, Ganon? Take that! That is huge. That might hurt us too, we gotta be careful. Whoa, it's actually doing it for us! Wait, do we even get to fight the battle? We might not have to. What did you get out of his health? That is so cool. Oh, we didn't like that. Well, I don't like you either. Oh boy. Let's pull out the uh Hold on, let's pull out the Hyrule Hy Hylian shield. Not happening, dude. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about you, but I'm guessing the best idea would probably be to hit you right in the face. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Whoa! Okay, so I have tons of weapons, tons of options, tons of stuff. I need to go ahead and use like, probably first off, Savage Lionel Bow. Hit him with some bomb arrows might be a good idea. I don't really know what my options are for hurting him, but he's already making a lot of stuff I can go up. I can go up, I need to eat food. Hold on, hold on, inventory. Let's get some extra hearts. That's perfect for me. I need to get up in the air because there's some extra wind. It's not working. It was, it was giving me the option until it took it away. That was just bizarre. Come on, get him again. Oh, he's gonna charge at me, isn't he? He's gonna charge at me. Whoa, he is so creepy. Oh, that is ice. I know what to do about that. Break it. Oh, you know what? So he's just, you know, we gotta use what we've learned. Use what we've learned. Break it. Got it. Excellent. Oh, <laughs> we did it. He's getting closer. 
See, hitting him like that does hurt. Oh, he's fallen too. Got him. Uh-oh, not happening, right? Oh. Come on, you wanna fight, buddy? Whoa. I can't even see what's going on at the moment, but I can see, whoa, what's happening? We already got him down a phase. Uh-oh, he just reinforced himself, didn't he? Did he make himself immune to bomb arrows specifically? He might have, oh, oh, that hurt. Ouchies, you know what? Oh, okay, that didn't quite work the way I wanted to. Dork had to help me, that's fine. Come on, get him, maybe I could run on top of him? I really, ow, no, no. Wait, did he hit me there or no? Oh, that got him. I hear that it makes a noise as if like I got him, but it, it doesn't really. Oh gosh. Come on, oh, there's some more. Come on, it's not working. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Where do you think you're going, sir? That would, that's not doing anything. Yeah, that's not doing one bit of a thing. I guess when he's all hot like this, he's just immune. What is he gonna do now? Whoa, oh, I remember this, I remember this. So all the other types of Ganons are sort of, you know, that we've ran into. I like it. Okay, you know what? That was so well timed. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, we got him good there. Maybe I can run up to him and mount him, or maybe I can just hit him in the face. That would work well too. Not for very long, but it did work. Mm. Okay, I, I bounced off him there, that was weird. What do you want, dude, huh? He is so creepy in this game. He does not look like Ganon from like any other type of Zelda game. Well, the Ruck has helped me. Many times now, he's almost down. We gotta keep going, gotta keep going. Come on, I'm gonna zap him. I'm gonna use Urbosa. Boom, that was perfect. Keep going, we got him. He's down, that was actually not that bad. I mean, we got all the best stuff in the game. I would hope it isn't that bad. Wow. Uh oh, I don't think he's done. All he is is just like a giant glob of anger and evilness. And he's falling apart at the seams. I've got like six teeth at most. You've caused enough harm as it is. It's time for you to go. We did it. What are we gonna do now? I mean, that's really it. Whoa, whoa, we turned into a light bulb. I don't know what happened there. We turned into a fairy? What was that about? Oh, hey, we're back out here. Look, we got our horse. I haven't seen you in like 60 episodes. Where you been? Ganon was born out of a dark past. He is a pure embodiment of the ancient evil that is reborn time and time again. Whoa. Wait a minute, what? He has given up on reincarnation and assumed his pure, enraged form. If set free upon our world, the destruction will be unlike anything ever seen before. Oh my gosh! Hatred and Malice Incarnate Dark Beast Ganon. That was the appetizer. That wasn't the final boss. I trust you with the bow of light, a powerful weapon in the face of evil. Whoa. Link, you may not yet be at a point where you have fully recovered your power or all of your memories. But courage need not be remembered. Never forgotten. I definitely got all the memories. What are you talking about? Let's go grab it. I might need, I don't know, I wanna change my gear because I, like, I've noticed all the cutscenes are in game, so I wanna wear the Hylian gear because I feel like, you know, it's obviously like the champion's tunic and then, like this is like, you know, what it looks like in the game, you know? I think this looks really cool. So if we could have some of the final cutscenes like this, that'd be awesome. But we got the bow of light. Whoa, it shoots. Oh no, I thought, okay, that's the, the thing. 
I thought I should fire fire as the ones that did 100 damage. I got it mixed up. It does 100 damage. Princess Zelda gave you this bow and arrow for the battle with Dark Beast Ganon. When we wielded by the hero, it fires arrows of pure light, strong enough to oppose the calamity. So we need to drop something, right? Or now? We don't. Awesome. Maybe one of my bows broke. Let's get him. So do we just gotta shoot this at him? So oh, but wait, do I have it equipped? Oh, I don't have it equipped. I'm shooting bomb arrows at him. This is so cool. So I don't know how we're gonna deal with them. Glowing points. He's on fire, so like all of him is glowing. This is a little weird. What do you mean? I have no clue. What, what parts of him are glowing? This isn't doing any damage. I can't do this. Oh. Got him. And then. Got it. Ooh, that worked. That worked. That's good. Oh, there's another one back there, but I can't really get around him right now. This is so cool. Man, I wish they had more giant monster battles. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Ugh. Did that reach? That didn't reach. That didn't. Okay. Maybe I didn't actually, I mean, I hit him a little bit at the least, as you can see, his health is a bit more down. This is so cool. Move this way, quickly. Oh, yeah. No, 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 go, 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 go. He's gigantic, so. Now, this looks a lot more like the guy and I know, with all the, the pig sort of features he has. Whoa. I'm prepared. Where are they gonna show up? Jesus Louise, this is insane. Okay, ready? Got it. Where are some other parts? I don't see any other. Yes, it is. We're behind him now. Hit him in the butt. That's everybody's weakness. Oh, he's like burning the grass behind him too. This is so cool. I love this so much. Come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, Zelda, I need a couple more of those glowy points. None of them are available right now, so this doesn't do much. I really hope we get to keep this bow. That'd be super cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, he's just destroying stuff. I gotta. Got it? Go back this way, come on. I forget your name, I think we could just call you Cloud, right? There we go. Yeah, we got all three of them. That was really good. Nice job. Oh no, we named you Sky, that's what we named you. <laughs> come on, Sky, we gotta keep going. I'm sorry you've been in the stable for so long, but I had, I had a lot of work to do, as you can tell. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh gosh, I'm really scared. We can do this. Oh, he's knocking down all the trees. No, 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 no. Keep moving. Oh my gosh, that was a close one. He was really trying to get us there. Oh, right in his tummy. Boom, that one hurt, that's for sure. He's only got a little bit of health left. Is there a blood moon happening? Oh, the sky's turning red now. That's bad. That's super bad. Up where? What, the, the sky? Where, where, where's up there? There's a lot of sky. Oh, up there, up there, up there. Got it, got it, got it. Got to get over now. Got to get over now. Come on, sky, we can do this. Do what you must do. Keep going. Don't stop now. Come on, come on. We're almost there. No, I'm missing my chance. I'm missing my chance. I'm out. Ooh, we're running into a tree. This is super awkward, because she wasn't telling me what to look at. She was just saying, look up. Why are you looking over there now? We just got over here, now you're looking the opposite direction, dude? Seriously, you're ruining this. Not the horse, he is. But of course, he's trying to ruin the world. Oh, there we go, no. And he is tough to hit. Is it closing? It just closed. I, okay. What does that mean? Oh, got him a little bit there, right? No, 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 no. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh my gosh, that was close. What am I supposed to be doing? Right there, right there, I saw the eye. I saw the eye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, do something, dude. Because he opens his eye when he's attacking. No, 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 watch out, watch out, watch out. Move, 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 move your horse butt. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Come on, come on, open the eye. What is going on with this? I am so confused. <laughs> Come on, hop on top, mount now, and move it. Move it, move it, move it. Oh my gosh, dude. Right there? There. Gosh darn it, that is so tough. I don't understand. Why is this suddenly so ridiculously difficult? Maybe I need to fly. 
Maybe that's the idea. Yes. Is that it? Not quite? Come on. Yeah, that's better. That's way better, okay. That makes sense. Whoa, no, that just knocked me back. That just knocked me back. Come on, attack, see what happens. Watch out, Sky, I can't protect you from up here. Come on, when's it gonna pop up? What, 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 thank you, Meepa, but what was that? Now, right? This doesn't make any sense to me. When can we use it? When is it gonna open the big eye? Cause it glows a bunch. Right now, go for it. How did that not work? What are you talking about? Oh no, I'm gonna get hit, I'm gonna get hit. I don't have any stamina left. There it is. Okay, just barely missed it. Right there, I'm trying. There it is, gosh darn it, that was tough, but we did it. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's gotta be down for good. Or is he just gonna show up like the size of a planet now? Whoa, what is that? It's Zelda. Uh-oh, you're in trouble now. That is crazy. He was finally able to do it. But he just flies away. Is he truly defeated? Got him. He can't escape this. Now that was cool. Destroy Ganon. Complete. We did it. We beat him. More Zelda than me, to be honest. been keeping watch over you all this time. I've witnessed your struggles to return to us as well as your trials in battle. I always thought, no, I always believed that you would find a way to defeat Ganon. I never lost faith in you over these many years. Thank you, Lee. The hero of Hyrule. May I ask, do you really remember me? Wait, is he just gonna stand there? Are you gonna answer? <laughs> of course we do, we just did all those memories, of course. Wow, so she is alive. I thought that she had sort of like the spirits of all the champions. I guess she's alive. The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, right? Or is it just The Legend of Zelda? <laughs> what a wonderful game. I can't believe we finally did it. After 85 episodes, we completed The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. A huge adventure, like, I mean, when it comes down to open world adventure games, obviously, no doubt, this is my favorite one. This is by far the best. It is like sort of shown up every other open world adventure game. So, wow, I cannot wait to play more, because even though we've played so much, there is still technically more to play, because there is DLC. I do plan on playing through the DLC, I just really wanted to get through all of this first. There are still some other side stuff we could work through, like all the Korok seeds and other tiny things like that, but that's not as high on my list, especially since there is DLC stuff that'll get us like the Korok mask, apparently, which will help us find Korok seeds. So there is still so much more left to find and enjoy that we'll be eventually getting to, but this was the big thing, completing the main game. 
and it was definitely worth all of the effort to get all the shrines, to get all the side quests, to get all the memories, so I'm glad I went for that, and man, that was a cool ass boss fight. I was pretty happy with it when it was just a normal battle between Link and Ganon in the castle, but then when it became more than that in the field with the giant Ganon on top of Sky, who I hadn't seen for a while, and just shooting the, the, the bow of light, that was amazing. Now, I can only hope that we get to keep that gear, but I have a feeling that maybe it might just start us right before the battle begins, just because it's usually how these kind of games work, right? I guess we'll find out as we go through it, but I do just want to give a huge thank you to everybody who's watched and supported this series. The fanfare for this series has been more than basically anything else I've done in this, you know, this whole project of Zebra Gamer, being able to just make videos on games. You know, it's crazy because when I first started this game, you know, I had a lot going on. It was the launch of the Switch, and I was focused on a lot of stuff. And, like, some people were interested in me playing, so I played, like, nine or ten episodes, and I sort of left it at that. But after enough requests, I decided to come back to it. And it came to the point where, when I started the series up again, months and months later, it was more popular than when I had started it. I have never had a series become more popular after it had started before. It's usually, you know, the, that's just how it works, you know, it gets most popular when you start it and then it just settles down. But that wasn't the case for this, and that is so crazy. So I just wanna say thank you to everybody who's joined me for this super duper long adventure. Even if you only watched this episode or a portion of the episodes, or if you watched them all, I really appreciate your time of the day watching, enjoying it with me, going on this adventure with me, because that's just all I've ever wanted. So thank you guys so much for enjoying it with me. I couldn't ask for anything more. Now, like I said, I do plan on doing the DLC and just sort of completing the game until we're satisfied with it. There is, I think, two, maybe three DLC packs. So there's one that adds a whole bunch of little content and then there's sort of like a boss rush mode. I, that's all I know about it. I don't know too much about it. And then there's like little DLC things like the, there's like a Link Rider bike or something like that. That looks like a lot of fun. We'll be trying out as much as we can. I very specifically try not to download any DLC to this game though, so that I could get the most pure experience possible so that we can tackle that stuff afterwards. And once again, I'm really glad that we did that. It seems like it turned out pretty well. I don't know how much uh, credits there'll be. Is that it? No, I was gonna say that that would be too little for how big of a game this is. But even though it took me Almost two years now. I mean, if you think about it, it started March of 2017, and now we're sitting here in November of 2018. Only a couple months away from two full years of playing this game. We finally got it done. And even though I took my time a lot, I feel like it was well worth the wait, because it was just through and through a great adventure. I don't know if they're ever making like a Breath of the Wild 2 or something. I, I don't know. I would not think so, at least not for like another five years or something, you know? So, I'll be eagerly awaiting to see what they do next, if that's more DLC, if that's another game. But I'm sure no matter what they do, it'll be fantastic. So, that's going to be awesome. Now, when it comes to other games, of course, I'm always playing something. We're very preoccupied with a lot of games, but the two big Nintendo games that everybody is excited for that are coming up super soon. Like, if you're watching this today, it comes out next week, maybe even later this week. Wow, we, gosh darn, time goes by fast. Don't know when this video is going up, but, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu releases. I'll be playing Let's Go Pikachu, so if you wanna see some Pokemon adventures, be sure to check that series out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Beyond that, next month we have Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I am a pretty big noob when it comes to fighting games alone, yet alone Smash Bros, so that's going to be an interesting challenge for me, but I wanna play all the characters in that game. I wanna play the Spirits mode, the World of Light mode. There is so much stuff coming up soon that I can't wait to enjoy with you guys. So I hope you're staying tuned and you join in for the ride for those, or even if you just wanted to watch the Zelda, thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. But every aspect of this world and the story was so much fun. There was not really too many parts where I was like, I don't like that, you know? Especially with the story, every race of characters, the Rito, the Zora, the Gerudo and the Gorons, they were all really fun. They all had their own characteristics and charismatic thing to them. And each area based in it, like right here, the Rito area, was so wonderful and really enjoyable to explore. And that's sort of the big thing about this game is the exploration. Being able to stumble upon something for the first time was always a joy. And I think that that's why I'm so glad I do this kind of stuff, right? Because I can never ex experience this game for the first time ever again. You can only do that once. That's why it's for the first time. But I have it captured on video, not only to share with you, but if I ever wanted to just go back and see that again, to see my first experiences with this 
art form that I love so much, video games. That is just so cool and I feel like that, this is what this game is all about, is just experiencing amazing things for the first time and that wonderful feeling of being like, whoa! This game does that better than almost any game. I, I mean, Mario Odyssey is another good example. I feel like Mario Odyssey does that a tiny bit better sometimes, but also this game does it amazingly, just in their own unique ways, which makes them both work, worth experiencing. I just really hope that some other open world adventure games can take some notes from Breath of the Wild because it really feel like it has just topped the genre. It's amazing. So hopefully that's exactly what we see. But yeah, it's cool to see that on the Nintendo Switch so far, it seems like most things have been knocked out of the park. You know, Mario Odyssey was one of the best Mario games. Breath of the Wild is one of the best Zelda games. That's another question I wanted to get to. A lot of people ask me if I plan on playing other Zelda games. Maybe, I don't know. I would love to play some other Zelda games. Of course, I'm very swamped with new games just because it's the time of year where we play new games. It's the holiday season, but the new year's coming up and usually between January and June, there aren't too many new games. So maybe I could try to look into something. I'm working on a lot of stuff. There's still some old Mario games I wanna play. There's still some old other games I wanna play that I don't wanna reveal yet. But if I were to play a new Zelda game, I've sort of narrowed it down to a couple. The first one would probably be Link's Awakening DX. Uh, that's for the Game Boy Color. I played that when I was little. It's the only Zelda game I played when I was little. And I, I d never got very far in it, so I don't have too many memories because I was really bad at solving puzzles. I guess not much has changed. But I, I would love to play that one again. That sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Beyond that, of course, I want to check out Wind Waker. I know that recently, well, recently, quote unquote, got remastered on the Wii U. I really haven't played that one much. I feel like that would be a sort of similarly fun experience to Breath of the Wild. You guys can let me know though. And then lastly, I was considering Ocarina of Time on the 3DS remastered. I've really not played too much of Ocarina of Time. I played it when I was young once and I didn't really like it. It was just not my thing at the time because I just liked more action games. I think that was the end. The credits, I've been blabbing for a while. What do you know? See, we got to the copyright information. That's when you know you've gotten to the end of the credits. But yeah, thank you to everybody who made this game, who put work in, because you did an amazing job. If it was a small part, a large part, it all matters because a whole bunch of tiny pieces can still come together to make something very amazing. Oh, here's the castle. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, your kingdom is destroyed. Oh, hey. Oh, it's King Roam. That's his name, right? I forget. <laughs> oh, you have a feeling we're being watched. Aw. So I guess, you know, now, now with the princess back, it's time to rebuild the kingdom. The end. I don't know if we, I don't know what part of this was the bonus for completing all the memories, because I know there's like a little bonus ending. It may have been that. I'm not really sure. Oh, there's more. I, I want there to be more and more, so I'm not, I don't have a problem with this. We'll make our way to Zora's domain. Divine Beast Varuta. Looks like it stopped working. Let's investigate the situation. What? Mifa's father. I believe he would like to hear more about her. The least we can do is visit him and offer him some closure. Although Ganon is gone for now, there is still so much more for us to do, and so many painful memories that we must bear. I believe in my heart that if all of us work together, we can restore Hyrule to its former glory. Perhaps even beyond, but it all must start with us. Let's be off. Let's go. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, there's her horse in the background too. inside the sword. I suppose. 
suppose it would make sense if my power had dwindled over the past 100 years. I'm surprised to admit it, but I can accept that. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> this game has such a wonderful way to tell stories. It just makes me so happy. So we're off. Going to go rebuild the kingdom like I said before. Oh, and look, there's all the silent princess flowers. They're all back. There was only a few of these before, but now there's many. Wow. So that must have been the bonus cutscene. I can only imagine, right? This is so cool. So like, what even happens now though? I, I don't know if it starts me right before the boss fight again. So if I wanted to re-experience it, I could or if it's just how it is now. Yeah, it starts me back here. So I guess it really is the case, as you can see, we can continue new game or go to downloadable content, which we're not worrying about right now. And it just starts me back there, but it has a little star next to it, which is pretty cool. So it has a star next to it, I guess, to indicate that we have defeated Ganon. We can do it again if we wanted to. Obviously, I, I, I don't want to right now. Maybe at some point, that'd be pretty cool. But at this point with 120 shrines, like I've said, every side quest, shrine, memory, I think that just about does it for the main game. If you guys wanna give me any reminders of some things I could accomplish, feel free to let me know. But for now, I think that's about it. I mean, we can definitely explore more. I think that the DLC will be a lot of fun, and that is something I'll take a look at. Like, if we take a look at the DLC right now, there's the expansion pass, which includes DLC pack one and two. Uh, DLC pack one is the master trials, includes content trial of the sword, master mode, hero's path mode, travel medallion, Korok mask, and eight clothing items hidden in treasure chests, and then the champion's ballad expansion pack, DLC pack two. <laughs> a lot of packs. The untold story of the four champions, a challenge that includes an additional dungeon and original story. Huh, that sounds cool. So I can't wait to check that stuff out. We'll be doing that soon, but I do want to catch up with some older games first, but then that'll be great. <sighs> I can't believe I'm saying it, but that's gonna wrap it up for now for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Ganon so now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.